Hey there, boys and girls. Uh, here we are, day number 14 of our March Daily Math. Number one, six baby birds in a nest. Two flew away. What fraction is left? Okay, so we started with six. And two flew away. So our answer would be, there are still four out of the six left there, right? So six total. Two flew away, leaves four still there. Now we can also break that down, can't we? That's also equivalent to two-thirds. So either one of those, I would accept. Either one of those are good answers, okay? Number two, on the graph above, how many cupcakes are there in all? Now remember, each of these is worth four cupcakes. So we have four, 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 four. So let's go this way. Uh, I'm going to put 8 and 12 together to make 20. 20 uh, and then 110 more would be 30. And 6 ones is 36. And we find that by taking 12 plus 8 plus 16. Okay. All right. Do mental math. So 6 times 6 is 36. 60 times 6 is 360. 600 times 6 is 3,600. So all we're really doing is adding a zero. So 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 8 is 48 plus a zero in the tens column. And 6 times 8 is 48 plus the two zeros in the tens and ones column. Okay, measure the line to the nearest quarter inch. So I'm going to get the quarter incher out here. Always line up on zero first, right? And we're going to go all the way across to right here. All right. So this one's really, really close. There's four, there's five. So it's somewhere between four to five inches. So you, we know, therefore, that it is a full four inches plus here is a quarter inch, here is a half inch. So which line is it closer to? So it's one little bump from four and a quarter. It's one, two, three bumps. See that? One, two, three little lines away from four and a half. It's one little line back to four and a quarter. So it's closer to four and one quarter inch. Okay. Now flip it over for centimeters. Again, we zero it out first, put it right on that line, right? Uh, so we got it zeroed out. We go all the way over here to the nearest centimeter. Um, it's going to almost 11 exactly. So we're going to say 11 centimeters. Is a four-leaf clover a polygon? Yes or no? No. But why? Here's an important reason why there are curved lines. Or they have curved lines. Polygons are straight. Okay. So polygons, I think of the polygons like, like rectangles, uh, triangles, stuff like that. All right. Well, great job filling that out. Hope you did awesome. And we'll see you tomorrow for day number 15.